In this segment, I'm going to take a look at the object properties and how they relate to photo stitch and cross stitch. And so to do that, I need to start a new design and I need to start with some artwork. So I'm going to choose from a file and just show that I can browse the folders of my computer and I'll just move that over so it's everybody sees it. Um, and I had made my own folder called Trevor's Designs and inside of there I've got this image that I made um, of a heart and I'm just going to say open. And I choose next and it asks me now do I want to open it as a backdrop? Do I want to convert it to embroidery automatically? Or do I want to open it up as cross stitch or photo stitch? So I'm going to choose cross stitch and say next. And I have to choose the fabric that I want to embroider on so I guess we'll just go with cotton and embroidery normal cotton and say next and it shows me that there's three colors in my design there's white there's red and there's black and I can say finish now basically um, it's done it's already converted it into cross stitch but I'm gonna go ahead and select that image and show that now if I look at my object properties um, the other types of stitches satin stitch step piping applique and net fill they've been grayed out and now it's my opportunity to, to work on the cross stitch, or for that matter, I can actually just quickly convert it over to photo stitch. So if you want to do photo stitch or cross stitch, now you have that option in the object properties. Now, when you do cross stitch, you have a few things that you're able to control. And I guess the first thing is the number of repeats and the cell size. So for example, the number of repeats right now is set at three, and that means each cross is gonna get stitched three times. You can increase that two times or decrease that to two times or increase that from three times to four times. That's your choice and it'll make heavier thread based on that. Now the cell size is set at two millimeters. If I want to I can change that cell size um, let's say three millimeters and it makes therefore the artwork still here it makes the cross the the square bigger therefore the cross bigger so I guess if you're having a higher number of repeats having a larger cell size is going to make room for that thread if you want to have a smaller number of repeats then perhaps you can go to a, a more accurate or smaller cell size the more accurate your cell size the more crosses you get um, and the better it's going to turn out now this is the background colors and you can see here um, I prepared this design so that it would only have three colors and not you know 15 million shades of red to make it easy for myself but what I can do now and I can show the same image if you want with a with a lot of shades it just gets a little bit more difficult to see what you've got but for example here um, if I highlight over the white it highlights all of the white in the design if I mouse over the black it shows what's black in the design and if I mouse over the red it shows what's red in the design and you can actually use this to remove stitches so background if I don't want the white background I can check that off and it takes out all the white crosses and so if I look closely now you can see here that I've got crosses for the black crosses for the red but I don't have any crosses where it's white so they were removed and if I don't want that done I can just click them back on so that's in general how it works and if I switch it over to photo stitch then I don't even have that um, choices for crosses now my controls are basically just to do with the width of the satin stitches and the satin stitch densities so that's this the black and I can con make modifications to that based upon the density and the width but outside of that um, they're fairly automated functions so we don't have a lot of things that we need to worry about when we do cross stitch or photo stitch now I think I'd said I'd show the cross stitch with um, a design that has lots of shades so for example if I say file and new and start another design and we'll go from artwork again and I have that same heart let me see heart one I heart two this is as a JPEG and I didn't change the JPEG it's gonna have who knows how many shades of color so we'll go ahead and convert this one into cross stitch and leaving everything set and now you can see here it's got like 45 different shades of color now if I try and reduce that to be let's say three it puts all the whites and grays into one the reds all went into one and then the darks went into one and I guess it's up to you to decide well 
you know, maybe this pink should have been in this column, and maybe that gray should be over in that column, or maybe it should be in this column, not really quite sure. Anyway, once I, so I've reduced it to be three colors, but I still have all these, all of these shades are actually in the artwork. I'm just saying to the software, combine all these shades to be one, and I can say finish. So it goes ahead and does that, but you'll notice now if I click on it, then in my background, I do have all of the shades available. And so that is your ability to, for example, pick a shade out and remove that from your um, list. So I can still go ahead and remove stitches, but it becomes a little bit more accurate now because, of course, because of all the shades, um, it doesn't. It, there's more choices of what I could remove or not remove from the design. So it becomes, I guess, a little bit fiddly because you're going to play a little bit with your artwork to get your shades just so, so that you can create the design how you want it. But that's, in general, this is how it works. You convert your JPEG or bitmap image into a cross stitch or photo stitch design, and then you're able to go ahead and um, influence that by these types of settings. So for cross stitch, you can control the number of repeats, the cell size, and include or not include different colors from your background. And with photo stitch, generally it's four colors and you don't get to change that too much. You can see here the colors that are choice that have been chosen, but you do have the ability to control the width and the density of the satin stitches. So that's a little bit more about creating designs for cross stitch and photo stitch and how you can um, use the object properties to enhance those designs.